Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Town on Tales is the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean installment, and the first one in six years. The last one we got was On Stranger Tides in 2011, which sucked. This comes from the directors of the Academy Award nominated foreign film Contiki, so that alone, you know, Oscar nominated directors have on the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Some hope, maybe. So in this film, we have Johnny Depp returning as Captain Jack Sparrow. He's in shenanigans once again, and he must find the Trident of Poseidon to break curse, because, you know, there are curses that need to be broken in this movie. So he teams up with Brendan Foyer's character and the chick whose name I forgot from the Maze Runner to get this trial while also trying to stay away from Captain Zalzar, played by Javier Bardem. He is someone that Jack Sparrow did bad things to in the past, and he is going to get revenge while also trying to wipe out piracy in order to rule the world and that is the plot yeah so i've grown up with this franchise you know i remember seeing the first one in the theater 14 years ago when i was five years old and it was quite an experience for me because i was blown away by the magic and excitement that was put into that movie and also pirates i loved pirates when i was a little kid and cat jack sparrow was a great character so as the sequels progressed, they got worse and worse. I think the second film was okay. The third one is... The fourth one, like I said, wasn't very good. Is this one able to capture the magic from the first film? In some cases, yes. But in other cases, it does fall flat. In the end, the movie was fine. It was, you know, enjoyable for what it was. It had some really exciting action sequences really cool visuals, solid performances, a story that somewhat got my engagement, but for the most part, it's not that great of a movie, but I still had a fun time with it. I thought visually the film was breathtaking. It was much better than the visuals for the last three films. I also really loved the look of Zalazar in the movie. The action sequences were really exciting and fun to watch. Some of the action sequences are used for comedic purposes, and for the most part, they pulled off extremely, extremely well, but there are a few, just a few that I thought were a little not well done. I thought the story was cool. It was definitely more engaging than the ones from the previous films, but it was still a little sloppy. But it was more engaging than it was prior. There were many jokes that I found myself laughing at. There was a one recruiting gag involving the girl's character, whose name I... Kaya Sikode? I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I, I can't pronounce her name. I'm sorry. I feel so bad because I really like her a lot, and man, she is gorgeous. Oof. There's a recruiting joke in, with her character saying, because she's a scientist, astronomer, people consider her a witch. And I guess in that time period, a lot of people considered smart women to be witches. Okay, sure, whatever. At first, I thought it was really, really funny, but over time, it was getting kind of old and stale, and I was like, okay, can we stop with that, please? But yeah, a lot of the jokes do hit, which is awesome, because the jokes in the last few films didn't really work for me. And in this one, they work very well, actually. Johnny Depp, you know, a lot of people are starting to get tired of him as Jack Sparrow, and to be honest, so am I. I've always loved him as the character, though. I've always liked him in the character. Let's not forget this, guys. Him playing the character in the first film got him his first Oscar nomination. Yeah, that's crazy. Jack Sparrow is an Oscar-nominated character. He is good as a character, and he is still good as his character, but, you know, he's still the cartoon that he's been for the last, I would say, three or four movies. He wasn't a cartoon in the first movie. He was, but in the good way where it was toned down, but also being the smart character. Here, he is still cartoony, and, you know, what can you do? I like Jeffrey Rush as Barbosa. He's always fun to watch. I liked Brendan Flewis and Kaya, whatever her name is, as their characters. Javier Bardem was great as Salazar, but he had such little screen time that it was a little bit of a disappointment. I thought he was going to be in this movie and be, like, the best Pirates villain. I still considered Ian McShane to be the best villain, because even though... On Stranger Tides was not a good movie. Ian McShane was fantastic in the movie, and everyone has to agree with me on that. But yeah, Javier Bardem did good in the movie. He had such a little screen time that it didn't work, but when he was on screen, it was great. Now, like I said, the story was cool, but at times the story could be very incohesive. The tone does shift from time to time, which makes it a little sloppy, and the movie does start off a little clunky. And when you get to the second act of the movie things start to get very, very slow and very boring, similar to how At World's End was a very boring movie. But once you get to the third act, it picks up steam once again, and like I said, the last 20 minutes of this movie are absolutely fantastic. I love the ending of this movie. I would consider it to be my favorite climax in a Pirates movie since the first film, or maybe the second film, because I've always admired how Dead Man's Chest wrapped up, so yeah. But in the end, guys, this was a pretty welcoming return to the Pirates franchise while still being pretty messy. 
but there are great performances, excellent visuals, and solid popcorn entertainment to make you go, this was a pretty fun movie. It was messy from time to time, and sure, the story can be a little incohesive, but because of that, Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Tale of Tales is probably the best Pirates of the Caribbean movie since the first one. I'm going to give it a C+. Guys, tell me what you thought of this movie. If you saw it, what is your favorite Pirates of the Caribbean film? And it's probably the first one. And what's your take on the whole franchise? Thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys soon.